Good morning. When a call for reform goes out, how many people do you tell? We're at Jeremiah 17, verses 19 through 23 today. Thus the Lord said to me, Go and stand in the gate of the children of the people, by which the kings of Judah come in and by which they go out, and in all the gates of Jerusalem. And say to them, Hear the word of the Lord, you kings of Judah, and all Judah, and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem who enter by these gates. Thus says the Lord, Take heed to yourselves, and bear no burden on the Sabbath day, nor bring it in by the gates of Jerusalem, nor carry a burden out of your houses on the Sabbath day, nor do any work, but hallow the Sabbath day, as I commanded your fathers. But they did not obey, nor incline their ear, but made their necks stiff, that they might not hear nor receive instruction. Jeremiah was commanded to stand in the gate, the gate used by the king and all the gates, all the gates used by all the people. Now, in ancient cities, ancient walled cities, the gates in and out of the city were very special places. This was kind of like the community bulletin board. This is where uh, the, the elders of the city gathered. This is where uh, a lot of market stuff happened. A lot of things happened near the gates. That was a big place. That was kind of like their web page. It was where kings published decrees and and different announcements were made. So Jeremiah is told to go and stand in the gates, not just one gate, but in all the gates, apparently in sequence. Jeremiah is to go and, and command the king and all the people to keep the Sabbath. It's not, it's not a confusing command, it's a, a simple command. It's the original seventh-day Sabbath mentioned in the Ten Commandments in Exodus 20. And Jeremiah is simply to tell them to remember to keep the Sabbath. They have him in keeping it. And he goes and he does this. And none of us will be surprised about what's happened because we've been learning about the situation of the people of Judah. They ignored him. They ignored the prophet. He's standing there making this straightforward, simple proclamation, and they're just ignoring it. Of course, and of course, the king ignored it. Everybody ignored the proclamation. Now, this was a call to reform, and this wasn't the Jewish Sabbath, as some people like to call it. The Sabbath had existed from long before this, before there was anybody who was a Jewish person. And the Sabbath was made for all men. Jesus called, said he was the Lord of the Sabbath, and it was made for man, for humankind, for humans in general. Isn't it true that all humans, not just Jews, need to be drawn to God and need to take and set aside time to approach him directly, to worship him, to gather together? So the Sabbath is for everybody. And of course, this, as so many other things, had been forsaken by the Hebrew people. The Sabbath is part of the Ten Commandments. It's it's actually the very reflection of the character of God. He said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. And it's the time to draw close to him. And what if the king and the authorities chose not to enforce the Sabbath? You know what? The, he was to stand in the gate and tell all the people, remind them, you need to keep the Sabbath. Even if the authorities aren't enforcing it, you need to be right. Just as in our day, if the authorities aren't enforcing some kind of morality, that doesn't mean that we Christians just suddenly say, oh, well, it's not being enforced by the secular forces. We'll just do whatever we want. No, we want to be right with each other and with God. And so the Sabbath command is still there. It was still there. It was there in the time of Jesus. And of course, it's still there today. The call has been made. This is a call to reform. Now, as many of you know, the seventh day Sabbath, roughly our Saturday, that's a part of, of God's commands to us. And it, it is a call, I think, today for us to reform too, very certainly. I've had the blessing of being a Christian and observing the Seventh-day Sabbath for about 32 years. And I can tell you that it's one of the key things that has drawn me closer to Jesus and to his people. So the Sabbath was a great blessing. Judah is missing the blessing. They're in open, direct contradiction to God. And of course, they are ignoring and refusing to hear the instruction. I wonder how that's going to go. I wonder how that's going to work out for them. Well, we're going to find out more about that tomorrow morning. But for now, let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for uh, calling your people to reform. Thank you for using Jeremiah to remind them about what you wrote so long ago in your Ten Commandment law, including this Sabbath command that's here in Jeremiah 17. Lord, we don't want to wait for other people to help us get it right. Uh, the other people may be responsible to, to lead, but we need to go forward. May each one who hears this find the path and receive the Sabbath blessing from Jesus. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful day serving the Lord of heaven and earth, Jesus, the Lord of the Sabbath.